Welcome back. In the last lecture, we have seen how to handle a single input in the form. Now let's talk about how it works with multiple inputs. So here I have made a new component with the name multiform. I have just copied the code from form component and pasted it here. So let's say this form has some more inputs. So let's write some more inputs. Input type equals to email. and input type equals to password and let's give them a placeholder email and here the placeholder will be password and let's give the placeholder in the username as well username so let's save this so now this form has three inputs okay moving further in app.js i have imported this component multi-form so let's check in the browser so here is the form with multiple inputs so right now only this input has been controlled by react and if we want these two inputs to be controlled by react then we need to do the same thing which we have done for this input so here in the code we need to go to multiform.js and so here we need to set the value for email to be empty string we need to set the value for password to be empty string and here we need to set the value so let's write value equals to this dot state dot email and here for password we need to set the value to this dot state dot password so this input has a on chain which is having a function this dot handle change but we cannot give the same function to this two inputs so we need to write functions with a different name so let's write here on change equals to this dot handle email change and here we need to give on change equals to this dot handle password change and we need to write the function for email so let's write handle email change event and here we need to write this dot set state email which is equal to event dot target dot value and here we need to bind the function so this dot handle email change equals to this dot handle email change dot bind this so let's save it and I'm not doing it for password let's check in the browser and let's go to react dev tools application components and if I go to multi forms here you can see in the state we have username password and email so let's write my name and here in the email if i type something like test at gmail.com so here you can see the changes okay i have not done it for password we have to do similar thing which we have done for both this input so this ends up writing a lot of code because every additional input will have a function with new name and then we have to bind it so this approach is not good so there is an alternative for this before that I just wanted to review 2015 stuff so 2015 introduced a few object announcement there is a newish ability to create objects with dynamic keys based on JavaScript expression and this feature is called computed property name so in the past we have an object that is called employee data and here we have employee id and it should come up with employee name 
which in this case is my name so this employee id should belongs to me so we have an object and then we have another variable called employee id and we are using employee id as a key and surfaras is the value so with 2015 what we can do is make a variable employee id and then simply add in as a property but we need to use this array brackets around it it has nothing to do with an array but we add those square brackets and set the value to be surfaras and this will compute the name of the property based on the value of employee id so if i have my employee id variable and here if i give an object and inside the object if i give employee id which is set to my name so now you can see that it computes the name of the property so this employee id belongs to me so we can use computed property name to reduce the duplication of all those on-chain handlers so we can write one on-chain handler that will update the state depending on its input for every single input in our form so it could look something like this handle change event and this dot set state and inside this dot set state we are using event dot target dot name setting it to event dot target dot value so this is the new part so the way this works is that every input in our form has to have a name that matches exactly the name that we use in the state so let's go to the code and let's delete the code which we have written for email and password so let's delete this code and let's delete this and here we need to refactor both this with just handle chain so they all use one method so which is handle chain so let me give it handle chain and in the input we need to give name property so here we need to write name and this name should match exactly the name which we have given in the state so this username and this username both should match exactly the same okay and here we need to give name equals to uh, email so let me copy this email and let's paste it here and same way for password name equals to so name here password should match the name password okay so let's save this and here in the handle change we need to delete username and instead of that we need to give event dot target dot name so when the user make changes in the username input then handle change is going to have a bunch of information about username and put under event dot target so so when we do event dot target dot name this becomes username and this becomes the value which the user has typed in and when the user make changes in the email input handle.change is going to have a bunch of information about email and and put under event.target so when we do event.target.name so this becomes email and this becomes what the user has typed in so let's save this and let's go to the browser and check it so here we have uh, so here we are in the multiple form and let's go to react dev tools and here you can see that username password and email is there so let's type the username so I, I wrote username and I wrote email ID and here if I am giving password so here you can see this has been the username has been updated to my name and the password has been updated to the value which I have written in this input and the email ID has been updated to the email id which i have written in this input so this is really very useful just make sure that the name in the input matches the name in the state so this is for this lecture and i'll see you in the next video